Hello viewers and my dear students. Now we'll start with the new chapter on demos. Now we'll take up projection of solid demo. Under that, I'll do one demo on a square pyramid. This is in fact the problem number one, what we've done under different sessions. The same problem I've already explained under different sessions that I'll be showing you how to do using solid edge. See here, there is a problem here. This is a problem one uh, as done in different sessions. Okay. This is the problem one on square permit. This has been explained already clearly uh, while doing uh, uh, while explaining the concepts of uh, projection of pyramids and all that, but the demo only. How to do this problem using solid edge, I'm showing it to you now. But even here, I'll give you some of the details what I uh, shared at that time, and it will be a sort of revision for you. Okay, this will help you in so many possible ways. Okay, see here, a square pyramid of base size 80 and height 150 has one of its base edges on HP. Okay, with its base inclined at 60 degrees to HP, and the edge on which it is resting on HP is inclined at 60 degrees to VP. Draw projections of the square pyramid in this position. When base is nearer to the observer, adopt a scale of 1 is to 2. Naturally, because it is 80 by 150, the sides, the distance are so much more, you have to take a scale of 1 is to 2. Because it is only this, uh, this uh, A4 size, no, this will be maximum 210 from here to here. This will be 297 mm. When you plan things properly, your top view size, front view size and all that all put together, this should not cross 210. And this, I will, while drawing uh, using change of position method, no? different uh, positions and all that, three sets of positions, and they should not cross 297. Because beyond this, whatever has been uh, obtained here, beyond this line, right? and beyond this line, beyond this line, and beyond this line, it won't come in the printout. If you if things if you want things to come in the printout, it should be well within this. Okay. Now, as you know, it's a square pyramid. As I said, it is sides 80 and height 150. Base edges on HP. Please understand, we have done square lamina. It is the same. The concept remains same. Square lamina has edge position. Square lamina has corner position. Okay. Now it is. Square lamina has one of its base edges on HP means you take edge position of square pyramid. But square pyramid, as you know, it has four base edges and four slant edges, totally amounting to eight edges. You have to manage eight edges in every view. You have to account for eight edges. This you have to be careful. Okay. Now, first uh, we'll do as usual. We'll draw an XY line. We'll draw an XY line and immediately we'll call this text. No, text always you have times new Roman 4 as I've said earlier. XY VP HP in that way you do. Okay. X, Y, VP, you bring it here, and HP, you bring it here. Okay, and I've told you, X for line is an imaginary separation. Okay, don't take uh, more than uh, this thing. That is 0.13 only is enough. It is an imaginary separation between front view and top view. Front view on VP, you'll draw HP on top, uh, that is on HP, that is on horizontal plane. The top view, will write it on HP. Print you write it on VP. The XY line is an imaginary separation. Okay. Now you see here what is the size? Square pyramid of base sides 80 and height 150. That means you take 40 side for 1 is 2 2 scale. Okay. 40 side. See here 40 you take.
again 40 you wait, wait for the indicator and in that way you complete the base now as you know here it has four slant edges also that is why you join this and this you join this and this okay carefully you see here now once you do this okay now you will name it the corners first time it is a b c d this will be a this will be b this will be c this will be d since it is coming now since it is uh, it appearing uh, small and all that we will zoom it little bit okay now we will zoom it little bit okay now you see here then once you do this we will have o bracket o1 okay once you have it o1 and you see here This is the axis O1. Okay. O1 is an imaginary axis. It is not an edge. But O is apex. Okay. O is apex. O1 is bottom end of the axis. Okay. Now, after having drawn this, you dimension this also. Okay. Dimension this. You know it should be 40 mm. And you finally write a scale of 1 is to 2. Okay. Actually, it is 80. I have taken it as 40. Okay. Now, once you do this, you please understand here. You have to, this is square pyramid means, as I have told you in different sessions, it should have eight edges. Now, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A, four edges. O, A, O, B, O, C, O, D, eight edges. Now, you have eight edges. Now, it's okay. Now, what I'll do, I'll continue. This is 0.13 only because anyway, it's a projector line. From here to here, you come. From here to here, you come. And from here, now. You draw this and you see what exactly is the height. Height is 150. You have to take 75. 75 is the height you have to take. That is why you take this. Seventy five you take and just fit it. And again I'll zoom it for better uh, clarity and uh, understanding. Okay. Now, you see here, now what I'll do now, this height is 75, you see here, again I tell you, 80 and height 150, 150 means it should be 75, 80 means 40, scale is 1 is to 2, okay. Now, you see here, this point, right now the square pyramid is resting entirely on the base on HP, okay. Now, you see here, what I'll do, B dash, bracket A dash. Okay, C dash bracket D dash O dash O1 dash. Okay, now you see here this point. No, this point P dash A dash is this. Okay, because when you are looking from here for print you, B is seen, A is not the B dash A dash. This is C is seen, D is not seen, Z dash, D dash. In that way, you draw this. Okay. C dash, D dash. And this is O dash, which is the apex. And this is the bottom end of the axis, O1. O dash. Okay. Now you, now you know very well. Okay. The front view will concentrate. Now you see here, from here. Print you will concentrate. You take end of this to the end of this to the end of this 
clearly have to do. Okay, uh, this is that. Okay, now as you see here, this is access. Uh, now, as you are aware, we'll split this because the axis here, uh, this axis will split at this point. Okay, this axis now because this it is coming the entire length uh, was single line. Now, axis I want only this. Now, what I'll do this I'll show this and show it as axis representation. In that way, I have done only this. Okay. I think you understand. Okay, the, because earlier the full line was there. I split it at this point and I called O dash O dash. It's an imaginary uh, that is axis. Axis of center of gravity. That is axis of symmetry. That is whatever mass concentrated towards left will be equal to the right in that way. O dash O dash all right. Return. Now you understand here. Now the top view is completed. Front view is also completed. Now you have four edges here now. Four edges of the base, A, B, C, D. Okay. And can you understand? O, B merging with O, A. Print edge is O, B merging with O, A. Two edges, six edges. Here, O, C merging with O, D. In that way, two more edges you have got. Totally eight edges you have got. Did you follow? These eight edges I have shown and I have shown the axis also. Now, if you see here, if I tilt right, okay, if I tilt right, this solid, now write it totally on base on HP. If I tilt right, it will be resting on edge CD on HP. If I tilt left, it will be resting on edge AB on HP. You do anything, anything you do, whatever is convenient to you, because it is only edge on, has to be on HP. Now, as you see here, it is actually edge on HP, base edges with base inclined at 60 degrees to HP. You should incline at base inclined at 60 degree, uh, whatever is that. First, we'll move this one. Move you take and you copy also. Okay, copy also you take. Okay. And put escape. Now you have got it. Now you know this rotation command also. Okay, you rotate this. When you rotate this, no. Uh, you, you don't want copy. You see here. You don't want copy. You take rotate. Don't copy this. Okay. Don't copy. But the only thing is it has to be rotated. Okay. I'll take this point as the fixed point. I'll take this as the moving point. Okay. I'll tilt it in such a way that now it is 0 degree. I'll still uh, tilt it to 60 degree. I think 60 degree is the base inclination. 60 degree you take. Okay. Now, this is the inclination. Now, if you go for dimensioning also, it will be 60 degrees only. Okay. Now, I think you understood. This is, you see here, the it is a square pyramid of size 40 and height 75. Well, that is one, one is to two scale. Actually, it is 80, 150. Okay. It is resting on one of its base edges on HP with base inclined at 60 degrees to HP. Okay. If they say axis inclined at 60 degree, you see that O dash, O and dash is inclined at 60 degree. If this is actually, you know, O dash, C dash, D dash is a triangular surface. If they say triangular surface inclined at some 50 degrees to HP, you see that this is 50 degrees to HP. Okay. Did you follow? Now, in the same way, you see here, there's so many possibilities what can be encountered. Edge on HP, this is a triangular surface. Actually, can you see that? O dash, P dash, A dash. This is a top triangular surface. Parallel to HP means you see that this is parallel to XY line. Okay. In, in that way, I'll tell you so many things can be done and all that. Now, we have come to the end of session one on demo on projection of square pyramid. We'll continue this in session two on uh, projection of pyramids demo. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you viewers. Thank you.